rich boy. I see you, demon child. Stop that flown about. Stop that flown about. Me, I'll show you the way. You ain't getting in here. I Bring out your magic users, Nordberg, so they may be cleansed. In the name of the Empire and your new governor, Boreas. We have no magic users here. We are simple people of the land. Do not lie. The Sentinels have spoken. Surrender your magic users or we will cleanse your whole town if necessary. Well, well, maybe we do have one. Solarius is very concerned, brother, that you allow Nordberg to be most violently raided by a magical barbarian. Uh, the situation is under control, Marius. My men are rooting out the source. Well, they better had to. You were sent here to prove yourself as a governor and show you've got a backbone beneath that blubber. He hasn't. It's blubber all the way through. again. What? How dare you? You have insulted the Emperor and my family. This will not go unpunished. Mark my words. Considering the Empire condemns magic, that looked awfully magical to me. Get me out of here, slave! Get me out at once! No way! Even your crevices have crevices! Yuck! What are you going to do with this ball of lard, sire? Covered in snow. How about you and I get reacquainted? Perfect. Mm. Think we can steal his shoes? I was once crushed by a big statue, you know, back in the day. Not completely, obviously. At last, you have a dark tower truly worthy of you, Master. So this is your place, huh? Well, it certainly beats Nordberg. It's warm for a start. I'm not sure about this thing, though. What is it? Some kind of walnut with ears. Perhaps you and your new mystery should visit the private quarters. Great. I'm going to see where my fur rugs and hunting souvenirs will go. I shall meet you up there, witch boy. Take my advice on the fairer sex. It's best to keep them happy. I suggest using some of that gold of yours to buy her a few delightful knickknacks for the private quarters. No one needs to come home from a hard day smiting things to an angry mistress. Hello, witch boy. Come and see what I've done with the place. I've put some of your little friends to work. They're strong and seem to be able to think and move at the same time, which puts them well above the average Norbergian. The place is becoming a little more fitting now. People should think dark, evil overlord rather than cave troll. Still needs work, though. I've sketched out a few upgrades, but you'll need to dig into your pockets a little. A bed would be a good start. Make me feel a little more relaxed. You don't snore, do you? Oh, what wonderful fur that beast has! 
I bet it would look much better on me, though. Remember, Master, I first, wench later. <laughs> no! What Noel meant to say is focus on the task in hand. Of course, if you happen upon this prisoner of the Empire, then I'm sure she would be most useful in uh, passing on any essential insider information. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. On to Everlight Town, sire! Don't want to keep a lady waiting, do we now? Hmm. I heard that as well. A way out of this place. What? She's not coming here, is she? Oh, the more the merrier, eh, sire? <laughs> Hello. on the dark side, no natural light, but I think I can work with this. Oh, I see you've already arranged a peasant slave as my lady-in-waiting. She's a bit scruffy. The only thing I'm waiting for, Empire, is for you to put a foot out of line so I can hang your carcass up on the wall with the other pretty fake things. Hey, not bad. Good choice. I've always wanted... Good choice. Did I ever show you my hunting scars? Come in, witch boy. I think it's time we got reacquainted. Plenty of porty, smug harpies there to make up for your absence. There he is! There he is! Oh, no, you weren't. You just went up. We were all very worried, Sire. But we've got you back now. Ooh, it's like you found our old friend. I have assembled the artifact, Dark One. But it has very little power left. The Empire seek to force their way into the last sanctuary, and from there into your realm. If you really believe this can strike a decisive blow against Solarius, then I give you permission to charge it with energy from my four shrines in the lower caves. Alas, this will mean the destruction of the creatures that live there. Wow, I'm glad I don't live in her domain. Oh no, you little ball thingy. Shame. It looked like it was going to be so shiny as well. I could have used it as my throne and sat on top of it like a queen. I think you look much better under it. Oh, either way, sire, you must get the tower heart back. It's not fully charged yet. Hurry! I don't want the soldiers getting into the netherworld. There's a bit too much empire in here as it is. I think we have a situation to discuss. You appear to have a couple of unfortunate hangers-on. A refugee from the Empire with more in front than up top. Ridiculous. My hair is lovely, and I don't wear black out of season. And some kind of Nordbergian snow rat. I didn't know you did charity work. Hmm. I'd like to see you try to wrestle down and skin a raving seal, Mother. I guess it's too much to ask that you just kill them right now. So I'll just settle for being the first mistress. I'm sure you don't need it, but as an incentive, I can make sure that salamanders are available in your final battle against the Empire. 
I was going to cut you a break because you're new around here, fairy. But if you want to play rough, I can offer you the services of the wolves in the final battle if you make me first mistress. Wait a minute. I learned a few tricks in Everline. If you make me first mistress, I can make sure those little green spidery things aid you instead. That. And I am, after all, me. We've had a little talk. And we think that we can get along. At least for the next, ooh, 30 minutes? Maybe an hour, if you keep us company. Why don't you come inside and see how well we can all get along? Wow, Master! Who would have thought we could get on that well? For so long. We couldn't have done it without you. Here's a token of our affection, Dark One. If you're ready, sire, we'll take the Tower Heart to the edge of the city. We need to find a way of firing it into the city wall. The release of magical energy will be able to knock out the anti-magic shield for good. Remember, your choice of first mistress will provide mounts for certain minion groups. Mistress Kelda can provide your browns with wolves. Mistress Faye can bring your red salamanders. And Juno, oh, Juno, she will make sure your greens are fully mobile. Are you sure you're ready, Master? My wolves are ready to help you rip out a few Empire throats. Good luck. I wonder if I could use one of those things for hunting. He really does enjoy the sound of his own voice. This is it! My ascension! I'm being taken up! I will embrace the world! Or, alternatively, cavernating gloom. And so it has ended. The cycle starts afresh. I hope you don't expect me to clean this up. Men, can't destroy without getting everything all messy. And so the glorious empire fell. Envious of the powers often do, in a pile of sludge on the ground. And a new reign started. One born of both destruction and domination. For that all-round evil meat. And the master lived in uh, harmony with his mistress, Zeus. But one day, his power too may come to an end, for there are many things that seek to bring down an overlord. Some come from the darkest pits, and some from the shiniest cities, whilst others are merely biding their time. Because evil always finds a way. Ha, 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 ha.